Hello everyone, I am DireFox240 and welcome back to Pokemon Snap. I know it's been a hot minute, but uh, you know. <laughs> Life is strange as they say, and I'm not referencing the game, god no. Anywho. <laughs> I thought that was a movie. Um, it could be a movie, but I know it's a video game that I didn't really take to. It wasn't, it wasn't my cup of tea. But either way, the week's been kinda crazy, but we now have a new computer part, which I don't think we've mentioned on stream just yet. No, because we haven't streamed since we since got, we got it. it. Yeah. We got the graphics card, and now we have a processor, so what, we got the motherboard, power supply, and all the other fun giblets left? Yeah. We have two of the most expensive parts, period, which is the process, both processors. Yeah. Thankfully. Yeah. So we've got the graphics card and the, uh, and the CPU central processing unit, I yes, think Yes, okay. I don't know. I, I don't know all, the, all those fun details, yeah. but... So the next big thing is the, uh, the motherboard. And once we figure out the motherboard, uh, most of the other parts kind of will easily fall into place. Because it doesn't take an awful lot of research on almost any of the other parts. Mm. You just make sure that everything fits the right sockets and whatnot. And the case fits, you know, whatever mounting style the board is. Yeah, essentially. The each, each, what, each processor has a specific socket. Is that right? Not each processor, but yeah, there's... Each type, or each brand no, sort of thing? No, um, there's... They update the sockets once in a while, so each brand will have their own socket or set of sockets for each generation. I just realized, I don't, have, I don't think I spelled Antarctic right, that's okay. You probably spelled it wrong. <laughs> what Miss, I have a master's degree in words. But it's not spelling, it's just words. <laughs> Oh, but anywho, we're doing computer things, and uh, apparently we unlocked two areas. Yeah. So, the out away cave. Out away cave? Is that supposed to be out of the way cave? Is that the pun? Maybe. And then I think we unlocked the nighttime. Yeah, oh, beach right. nighttime area. So, I want to do the ice cave first. But regardless, I still have two people to thank. I know I thanked you guys when I raided Zen. Last week? I want to say it was then. I, I could be woefully mistaken. I'm a horrible person, that's all. Panda Poopums and Zoinks, with an amazing spelling, by the way. Z O I N K X. Nice. Also, Zoinks, you're a freaking mad lad. You decided to sub and you haven't even seen me yet, so kudos to you, sir. <laughs> For all you know, he's already seen you. That's true. Just dives a bit in chat. That's fair. Also, another announcement actually to make um, we have emotes on the way. Oh. You finally yeah. sent off the... Okay, cool. Yeah, we have three on the way. They're kind of simpler ones. One of them... Well, no, I won't spoil that one because that one's kind of fun. But well, we have a raid emote coming. We have one specifically for Wolf, and then I have another one that's just fun in games. Okay. So we'll see what happens. And I guess when we finally make it to that first... Sorry, guys. <laughs> when we finally make it to that first $100 or, or whatnot, when fucking Twitch finally sends a... Quote-unquote, it's the first real check. Yeah, the first Twitch check, so to speak. Yeah, um, when... When Twitch does that, we'll be dumping, quote unquote, dumping the money back into the channel. We'll be buying emotes. Buying other emotes, emotes, yeah. Emotes. I think I can make a couple of them, but I'm not 100% sure. And if I turn out terribly, then I'll absolutely That's purchase. What is that? <gasps> it's Gengar! At the Get bottom ready. of the sea? You've got a long way down. Oh, oh, it's just uh, a dark cave. Yeah, it's the ice cave. Oh, wait, turn around. Crobat? Friend? Alright, there's too many other things that are interesting. Joltik. Remember, you only need one, need one picture of everything because it's your first run, right? Yeah, true. So, I should, probably should just look around. But I totally saw Gengar down at the bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. How goes it, sir? Hey, Arthur. Ooh, what is that? A portal. That was strange. Yeah, it was a teleportal. It was a portal. It was a teleportal. <laughs> it's so adorable. Awesome. I knocked you off the wall. It's a fucking giant tick. Yeah, it's an electric tick. Specifically. Another portal. Throw something into it. Oops. Is it not a- is it not Power a- Power it up. Eh! Oh, it's too high now. Oh wait, no. I'm just too low. No, eh, okay. Okay. Back in the direction we were facing. <laughs> now I get so easily distracted in this game. Okay. A lot of- <gasps> Woo! Down okay. more. Eh. It's not like- okay. You there, Blanc. Okay. I think we actually have a picture of him from one of the other ice caves. More portals. Frog. Shiny pink thing. 
And one of the flowers. What is that? Oh, it's America Bird! He's asleep, though. And yes, I called Raviary America Bird because... I mean, seriously. He's literally red, yeah. white... I took a picture of its shadow. <laughs> what is with these magic cars? Eh. Nope, whatever. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know why I take such joy at smacking the Pokemon with these quote unquote fluff fruits, but whatever. Well, that's part of the problem. They're fluff fruits instead of apples this time, so you can't knock shit over and whatnot with them. Yeah, you just startle things. At best. Ooh, what is that? Save a lie? Save a lie. Hell yeah. Hello, little dude. I'm straight in front of you, also. Oh, hell yes. Come here, little dude. Probably one of the weirdest Pokemons. I missed what you were doing over there. That's yep, you are the portals. Okay. That's creepy and delightful. Scan. Rare gemstones are embedded in the walls and the ceiling. Um, alright. Well, Pokemon likes gemstones. Well, Sableye, Where back there, where'd it go? This Whatever, you're missing stuff. I know. In front of you. Whew. Oh. Rampardos, okay. Crobat doing Crobat things. What other Pokemon like gems besides Sableye? I know there's a few. Gotta be. Sableye eats them, if I'm not mistaken. And when it mega evolves, it has a giant ruby that it carries around. That's literally the only difference. Huh. For reasons. Yeah, some of the mega evolutions aren't as great as Mo Mega Mobile after all, so. <laughs> it's just chilling in the portal! Ah. Fair enough. I would say not a lot of whole. Not a whole lot of Pokemon, but at the same time. It's a brand new level. I feel like level cave, two I'm pretty sure is I going to have things. a lot more. And I think there's something in that pool. Right here? Yeah. Whatever. See it next time. Yep. Maybe. Do you dance or anything? <laughs> Swing and a miss. There's a crystal bloom up there. Yeah. Huh, okay. The most interesting. Whatever, hopefully we got enough points to get to instant level 2, but I'm not hopeful. Hello. Let's see... <laughs> um... I think Laughing Gengar will actually get us more points, but this one's just too fun. Oh, why do they have a 2-star Crobat? Sure, I'll ask questions. Tiny electric tick. Man, these are not great photos. <laughs> no, oh well. Let's go. I'll probably have to run that level again. No shit. <laughs> but those you will. Oh, you mean to get level two? Yes, to get level two. <laughs> Sorry. It's been a bit and I'm kinda of tired. It's one of the reasons why we're doing Pokemons. So I wanted to do the advanced quests on Monster Hunter soonish. But they're gonna be really difficult. So. Yeah, I still totally would have voted on other stuff. Rather than Pokemon? Yeah. We haven't done Pokemon in literally a couple discovery. of weeks though. Really? I thought we did it last week. Timing. Mm -hmm. We did Bomber Crew. Monster Hunter, I think. No. Oh. I'll have to look. But yeah, I would have voted Bomber Crew or I wanna do Bomber Crew again, Kingdom, for sure. no question. Or even nice just work. like freaking PC builder. <laughs> A new discovery. You are hooked on that right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> nice work. It's nice to get hooked on a video game again, even if it is a stupid one. Yeah, fair. A new discovery. Although speaking of random nice things with video games, so our young nephew, well, not really young nephew, but one of our nephews, oldest nephew? Yes. Has been like, oh yeah, I bet you I can beat you in any- he's a sassy teenager. Oh no, he's not the oldest. Not That's the, oldest? the second oldest nephew. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I forgot about the other one. <laughs> Listen, I live with this one, I don't live with the other one. Um, 
this nice one work. lives with you, the other one doesn't. Y yes, exactly. Mm. There's a distinction mm. between those two. True, true. So, the one that who lives with me has been like, Oh yeah, I bet you I can beat you in any video game that's you know, one of your quote-unquote old video games. So I've had half a mind to be like, nice work. Can I be completely trolltastic and pick something absolutely terrible that he'll never want to play again? And I haven't really come to a whole lot of conclusions as far as to which game to play. The first time. No, you, you pick, pick it like the third or fourth time. Yeah. You pick some fun shit for the first couple times and soften him up, get him ready to come back for more after you fucking troll him. True. Because it's not like I can give him. Oh my god, I can't give him <laughs> one of my like um, RPGs. So it's take too long. Yeah, he wouldn't play that. Yeah, he would, you know, lose interest pretty quickly. So, I was going through my Steam library the other night, and I forgot, I have most of the FNAF series. And I was thinking, oh, the first one isn't too terrible. The first night's pretty easy, the second night is okay, and then the third one starts to kick your teeth in. So that could be fun. Especially since I'm pretty sure I can get to night five, and he probably won't be able to, especially if I don't tell him anything about the game. <laughs> but, at the same time, suggestions are welcome as to what game I could troll my nephew with. I mean, he won't play racing games with me, or Wolf, because he knows he's gonna get trounced in those. But let's put it this way, I used to play on a really hard difficulty. I don't know if it was the hardest, but it was one of the hardest difficulties. One, it was like two steps back down in, from... Back in Forza, Forza 4 and Forza... 3? Oh yeah, we were on the like, hardest difficulty. Like, all the way up through Forza 4, it was the unbeatable difficulty. Yes. And that's what I would play on. Hey, Zion! Ooh! Poisonous things? Poisonous things. Anything's poisonous oh. if it's in the right quantity. <laughs> Truth. How goes it, sir? We're just talking about games to muck with my nephew. Because he was like, oh, I bet you I can beat any game that you, know, you used to play or whatever. So I've been trying to come up with something aside from racing games, because he won't play those with us, that I could muck with him with. I wonder if Crobat and would come besides down things oh. like RPGs. Yeah, these RPGs take too long and he would be... He would lose interest very quickly. <laughs> Arthur's saying hello as well. Gengar keeps popping out of nowhere and playing its tricks. I'm a little worried about that sleeping crow gunk. Oh no! Oh! Zion! Uh... Me and Dire Fox started playing a game called... What is it? The Kingdom, Kingdom or just Kingdom? It's Kingdom Classic. Okay, Kingdom Classic which is free on Steam. Yes. And, and then, I know your computer can handle it. Oh yeah, it's essentially 16-bit? 16 16-bit 16 or 32-bit? I think it's 32-bit. It might be 32-bit, because some of the creatures are a little bit more complica complicated. It's obviously not 16-bit. It's not really 32-bit. It's. You know? I think it's more complicated and yet simpler than that. Yeah, it takes a couple of... Like, the, the baddies terms. have a lot of detail, and your character and, and their followers don't. Sounds interesting. Indeed. So in Kingdom, you play as a king or queen. It just kind of picks for you. Drifton! Sorry. Um, and you essentially have to raise a kingdom out of nothing. And you collect a couple of coins at the very beginning. It's a limited size side-scrolling map. Yeah, it's essentially a um, it's, yeah, management. It's, stra it's, it's strategic management. management. Resource management. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Zangoose! Yo, buddy! Ooh, sorry. I want to run you over by accident. Perfect. Should have centered it. Should have. What else is around here? But yeah, it's fun because during the night, creatures. I won't say too much about it, but creatures come out and attack awesome. your, you and your kingdom. And if you lose all of your gold and your crown, you lose. If you lose your crown, you lose. Yeah, and you have yeah. to start all over. But yeah, essentially. The, the things are only stealing anything of value. Yeah. And they'll kill your guys. Mm-hmm. Well, they actually take all the coins. Yes. They'll and also they, take anything They make them homeless, value. essentially. Yeah. So if they, if they take, you know, everything, including the money that you hired them with, they basically kind of die? Woo! It's the same as them dying, though, if you don't find them and give them money in enough time. Yeah, they essentially become homeless and or die. But it's interesting, and there's a multiplayer version called Kingdom Two Crowns that I haven't tried yet. But I think it could be fun. It's, Especially uh, since it's couch co-op! Yeah, it's couch co-op and online co-op. Yes. 
which I think would oh, probably um, be a good thing for you first. and for you and Duo to play, or you and Zion to play. Yeah, for sure. Online, any of us. Because the controls in are person. super simple. Yep, it's left, right, and down. Yeah, that's it. That's literally it. So it, you can do it on on a, a single nice. keyboard with two people. You can do W A S D, or you can do the um. Um. The numbers, or the god, the freaking D-pad. D-pad. Yes. What is glowing over here? I don't know. Oh, just that. Hey, artillery. How do you like Hit empowerment? There. Yes. Oh my god. You shoot ink. All right, that's cool. You're an ass. Yes, I am. <laughs> Ooh, clam pearls. They were. I think they were singing. Well, I Better just they're music. getting ready to. What are you guys doing? It looks like a, um, like a stage performance or something. Yeah, I think you just missed it. Probably. I was so enamored with the artillery. Um. Oh, really? <laughs> that Zangoose asleep just looks like a thug. It's amazing. That's kind of the point of Zangoose, though. Him and the yeah. Viper, eternal rivals. So Zion, are you at work or? At home. That's a question. Also, how, how have you been, Arthur? <laughs> yeah, Arthur's been quiet today. That's yeah. fine. Probably doing some more of that uh, pixel art. Yeah, that or whatever the project he was working on before. Oh, right. I'm assuming it's supposed to be a surprise because he hasn't told me anything about it, so. Did you ever make the suggestion that, that I said? To Arthur? Yeah. I don't think so. I might have. Oh god, it dances. All I heard was Zion. <laughs> yeah, we were wondering if you if you were at work or at home. Buddy, you're in my way. Again, can never remember your schedule. Mm-hmm. Especially since it changes on weekends. Yes. Of course, Zion. <gasps> it's a sandcastle! No, come back here! I got a picture of it. Stand a guest. Okay. You work for another hour? Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> did, you, did I already mention this design? I thought I was gonna. But I thought about putting our nephew in front of FNAF. Uh, you were talking about it. No, I, I was don't talking know if about you it. mentioned it directly to him. Yeah. Twelve to eight weekdays, eight a.m. to four on Saturday. Oof. Do you work this weekend? I know your buddy's coming down, or at least I think he is, if I remember right. I only so. asked like four times. <laughs> okay. I thought so. Also, uh, Duo wants to come down this weekend. Yeah. So there might be a, um, a Duo featured stream as well. He's coming Friday, okay. Is he staying for the whole weekend, or just, like, the night? I, I know he, he tries to be back to his personal church uh, every Sunday morning. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah. He'll drive two hours home for service, and then two hours back to spend the rest of the, the weekend with, uh, with Zion, Zion huh. occasionally. Right. Wait, like and then two hours back or home. Or, like, a church that he attends? The church that he goes to. Okay. He will remember. go back and go to services at that church every Sunday, I if I remember correctly. It tells you something about it, right? Nice work. Yeah. But granted, to be fair, I mean, I didn't he's really not, attend very many churches. Yeah, but finding he's a not good church extremely fun. religious or whatnot, but nice he work. is. Oh, I don't know. Fairly devout in trying to stick with certain things, at least. Yeah. Now that he's got his own place, I don't know how often he goes. Yeah, fair enough. Interesting. Is he like far away from it now or something? Nice work. No idea. I don't know. Like, I know Duo is partially, like, somewhat religious. I wouldn't call him overly re religious or even no, he's, very strict, but... He's... I wouldn't also call him God-fearing specifically, but... No, he's... But he's kind of god -fearing. Fairly God-fearing, and he nice is work. rather religious. He's... I would go almost as far as to say he he's He lives in KOP very... now? Really? A new discovery. Rick! He's, he lived in... Really? He, he lived in close nice to that area to begin with. Oh, I forgot. I consider KOP close to Philly. It is close to Philly, in my opinion. Exactly. Yes. Although okay. it's not. Yeah, I mean, technically it's not, but it's close enough. <laughs> mm. 
Let's see. Also, Duo's like entire family is all religious. sorts of in that in that church. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. and that's my mom found them at the at that church, at, yeah. the, at their specific church. Yeah, like they're they're all over the place in that church helping out, mm -hmm. like running nice activities work. and shit. And to be fair, the folks in that church, I've met a few of them, are, are pretty good folks. Well, we're marrying the KOPs like 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, sounds about I right. I mean, you're talking to people who drive <laughs> who drive over an hour one direction, so figure... it's like 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, that's pretty close. True enough. Like, when I'm doing the schedule at my work, if, and I look at like the drive times and stuff, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. And I realize, you know, that they're not used to that kind of drive. <laughs> yeah. As the Pokemon behave differently at this hour, you'd be right. Dark? Oh, because of Inkay. Indeed. No, oh, damn it. I guess we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, I wanted to do it again anyway, I just... Oh well. But yeah, I'm actually getting a lot more used to the... Good luck. The time it takes to get places. In our area. Oh, there's two of them! Oi! Balloons! That was way too far. <laughs> My aim is awful. Down some. Haha, go. ha, got it. Do you care about the balloon? He's floating away, I think. Yeah, he is. I mean, it is a balloon. He looks like, uh, Zangus or whatever his name is, looks like he's about to ready to beat the shit out of somebody I when know. he turned around. That's just, that's just Zangus in general. He even eats aggressively. But, I mean, granted, he's a very aggressive Pokemon. Wake up! Fine. Never mind. Is that one asleep? That might piss you off. <laughs> Amazing. Sounds like a blade is being sharpened, is the description for a viper. But fun fact about this boy, he literally has a blade on the end of his tail. That, yeah. he, that he fights Zangus with. It's like a Yakuza fight. Essentially, yeah. Mongoose pocket first knife pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not wrong, it's the sad part. Well, I guess Zangus would be... Zangus got hands. claws. So, so pocket knife to bare hand fight. Yeah, that Zangus chilling on the beach at night is a vibe. It really is a vibe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go this What's way. under the water? I don't know. Next to you, to the right. See me? No. You scrolled past him. Oh, times. Inke over there? Yeah. No. Oh. But okay. I guess we'll figure it out. Well, that's the point. No, we won't. <laughs> oh, I guess. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh, really? Marie? <laughs> I love this boy. He's so cool. If you wait a second, they're all gonna be dancing together. Let's center one of them. There we go. I'm not sure how center that actually was, but. It wasn't. Oh. Sorry, that, that was a chaos of me hitting all the buttons to remember how to throw things. Down. Down? <laughs> As I go right. immediately into the water. Yeah. Under the water. Yeah, that boy. Left. Left? Directly behind you. Get left more. Nothing Seaweed. in that corner? Got it. Nope. You have huge blind spots that you just scroll right past. I know. <laughs> I'm not exactly the and most... It's like, go left, goes right. No, no, no. Left, goes more right. I'm no. directionally challenged, okay? Left! <laughs> at this point, it, and it's like, it's like, at this point, behind you, goes left some, and then does a 180 degree turn right. Lion says BRB. Did you fall over? I missed it. Brenda? The fact that freaking this Raichu can just surf across the water. I wanna. Oh! <laughs> oh, you were, you were pissed off. I'm sorry. Not really. So that's what those are? Oops. <laughs> it's just a pissed off sandcastle. Also, that shovel is part of the Pokemon. Huh. Did I get a picture of Octillery? Where did he go? Oh, he just dicked off. Alright. Have fun? Well, I got a good picture of the stupid sandcastle Pokemon. 
Which knows Giga Drain, by the way, for reasons. Togepi took in sunlight. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> so I'm sorry, that almost <laughs> just came out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> and the harder I laughed, the harder I continued to laugh. Oh my god. So I was playing, what was it, Pokemon like Gold or something? It was an older Pokemon game, and I mean, like, black and white old almost. Yeah, it was black if and not, white. If not, it was black and white. I think it was gold. I think it was Pokemon yeah. gold, because that's how you get Togepi. It might have been yellow. Yellow does have Togepi. Oh, you're right. <laughs> I think? Any which way. Yeah, so I had a Togepi, and I was trying to level it up to, you know, friendship points and all that jazz. And it knows Metronome, of course, because it's the only move it has, I believe? And at one point, I was I had the Togepi out. It was like level like 15 or something against this like level three Rattata, and it goes Togepi took in sunlight. And I'm like, oh no, because it solar beamed the crap out of like a poor Rattata or like a Geodude or something. <laughs> it was fantastic. My favorite is I when Togepi uses Hyper Beam though. <laughs> I was gonna say I can't remember if that was before or after Togepi used Hyper Beam. I think it was, think before. It was before, cause it was it was the first time Togepi had used any kind of a reasonable move. It was like scratch or tail whip, or like growl or, or something stupid. Yeah, or or sand attack oh, or whatever the hell. My it favorite is, is Metronome Explosion, <laughs> because the Togepi just kills itself. An explosion is nasty. People actually yeah. built competitive teams around like an ex a um, a turn one explosion Pokemon. They'd have a Pokemon that was a normal type next to a ghost type. An explosion is a normal type attack, so it gets the bonus damage, and the ghost Pokemon your partner doesn't take any damage because it's a ghost type. So you do, you round one explode, and if you're, well, if the Pokemon is stupid, you can generally nice knock work. out the opposing two Pokemon on the other person's team, so they're left with just two Mons, and you lose one. It's crazy. People hate seeing it, but I love seeing it just because of how meme-tastic it is. Nice work. Like, you don't normally just sacrifice your Pokemon, but, you know, mm, nice work. turn one explosion's pretty fun. I mean... If it was once in a great while, I wouldn't care. But if it's Doesn't like happen very often. if it's like half the people in a fucking tournament, oh, drive you nuts! Exactly. That's probably why everybody fucking hates it. Oh yeah. Well, that it's just like you don't you always unless expect they're it. super super fucking competitive and hate losing to a shitty shit way like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes like the exploders are completely out of nowhere. Like you'll see the ghost type Pokemon and be like suspicious, but then the exploder will be something like. I don't freaking know. A Mr. Mime or something stupid. Yeah, so you're just not like, a Voltorb. Not a Voltorb, where you're just like, oh, that's gonna explode, you know? Uh, actually, I don't remember what Pokemon learn explode, and they actually limited what Pokemon could learn explode, probably for that reason. <laughs> yeah. Nice work. You reckon. Alright. Nice work. I have to wonder, like, in the wild, certain things kind of just combust in order to escape from predators. Don't they? Nice Certain work. creatures like rip off parts of themselves. Like yes, crabs. they sacrifice things like lizards. Nice work. Some li lizards sacrifice a portion of their tail. Yes. The crabs will just rip off one of their claws. Really? Yeah. Huh. Some of them will. I don't think all of them do. But a few will if they feel threatened. That is different than killing them. yourself. True. There's an iguana that shoots blood out of its eyes. Yeah. It's freaking terrifying, but it's also amazing. Yeah. I don't know, just I don't, creatures that harm themselves in order to escape from danger is very interesting. Yep. It's better than dying. Yeah, true. You're gonna upload the screaming sandy gas? Alright. <laughs> Seems the upload didn't work. Let's try again another time. <laughs> uh check the stream on your phone. It's fine on the phone. Okay. For once. Usually the phone stutters. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't think those little sand piles were actually sandy guests. <laughs> like, I should have noticed that forever ago. Like, probably like two streams of this ago. Probably. Probably, but you know what? Whatever. Now I'm just thinking about stupid strategies in Pokemon. I hear that in one region there's a misunderstanding between Executor and Crab Brawler. Is there also true- is that also true here in Lentil? Wait! Crabrawler likes to punch coconuts. <laughs> that could be fun. 
sleeping executor just gets bopped in the face by a tiny crab. Well, it's actually a, a mantis shrimp, technically, but... Looks like that Zangus is waiting for something. Really? Looks like it's asleep to me, but alright. Where arch enemies meet. We saw the Viper and Zangus on the beach. I heard they're supposed to be rivals. Do you think that's even true? Yes. Oh, I probably lore one. What? Pretty good shot, huh? I saw even more EK out there too, so I bet I can get a group shot of them. Little squid boys. So, all right. Just to just to pause a second. In case of old form, what the hell was it called? Oh, frick. I don't remember. It's a bigger squid. It's a it's a cuttlefish. Um. It it has an ability called contrary. Where anything that lowers its stats actually raises its stats. And it also knows like four different attacks that lower its stats. Like, I don't know. Uh, what is it? Uh, super so what power. if somebody uses something that raises its stats? It lowers it. Nice. It's the reverse. But you can get attacks like super power, which are supposed to lower your attack and defense, but actually raise it. It gets stupid really fast. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like... Like like meteor, I think it is that lowers your special attack Draco every meteor. time. Yes. Draco meteor. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Zion. Sandy guys takes control of other Pokemon and makes them scoop more sand onto it. It might even get bigger than this sand dune. I'm sorry. What? I know it's a ghost type, but I've never heard of that before. All right. Anyway, we're gonna go off to the um the Arctic what? Circle again. Do you think there's gonna be another spot? in between the arctic area and the volcano islands? Maybe. I don't know. You mind? I love being the only one who does anything here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chat's quiet today. That's fine, though. Arthur um, can get loud. Um, Heavenly, Heavenly can get loud. Uh, Fujin will sometimes well. drop in and get loud. Mm -hmm. Fujin's funny because he's kind of like a shotgun type. He'll just kind of appear out of nowhere. Well, he's probably saying hi while he's at work, or so we've found out. Dragon Crew <laughs> will also occasionally drop in and, and get a little loud. Mm -hmm. Well, Dragon Crew likes his Chuck Norris jokes. Sorry. Talkative. Yeah. Oh, they're so freaking cute. Just little tiny spider tick boys. It's like Star Arachnids, aren't they? Oh, he doesn't fall off. That's unfortunate. Oh, at work. Oh, I meant in real life. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, hey, Kirby's like gems. Oh, you're you're doing happy dances? I'm not sure. Uh. I'm curious as to what else pops up in this cave. Once we level it up some. I just wanted to make sure we also went to the, uh... That burger did not sit at all. I'm really? Again. I saved half of it on purpose. You shouldn't have. You should have just enjoyed your entire fucking burger. I couldn't eat the whole burger. I ate as much of it as I could. Oh. Well, you just made it sound like you stopped at half. Oh, no. Do you explode? I know you explode. Oh. Think. <laughs> also, roars like a cat. It's such a weird Pokemon. I can't get over huh. it. So we've been running out of running a lot of cars out today. Ninety eight percent of them have been released. By northeast. Oh. I think. That's interesting. Do you like apples? Oh, bully released by me. Oh. Frick. So you've been doing all the heavy lifting then. I feel like there's something in like these little nooks and crannies, but oh yeah, shame and I come hither. Well, oh, there's a Gengar. Or, we've already said it before. We know a, sh a shitty oh, place really? that pays fairly well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> freaking portals. Which means he's been sitting on his butt for almost six hours doing nothing. Jesus. I kind of have a co-worker like that. It's more that she's incompetent. Unless that she doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, what if I hit one of you? 
I'll make you fight over an apple. Can I have him? Oh. Oi! I know you guys do exactly what you look like you do. Run into each other's heads. That was kind of adorable. He's the quote-unquote senior driver. He's the most experienced, so he gets the baby treatment. Oh. Gotta love how that works. Ow. Are you gonna... I know Gengar likes to play tricks, so I'm... Oh wait, that's a Geo dude. Um... You, do you fall off? Are there more of you? Where the hell did you come from? It's time. I guess it's a rock, so... No. <laughs> Whoa. And then there's this crystal bloom up here. Oh, got Andy it. Andy likes the brown nose. Oh, well, fun. I hate those types. I know we leveled up this area. Welcome back, many new discoveries. Yes, I found a freaking Geo dude on a rock, which I guess isn't surprising. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. So we'll do this photo. I think we caught him. Or <laughs> got a. <laughs> I'm sorry, that photo just makes me giggle. Okay. Geodude. More crappy Sableye pictures. Oh. Alright, sure. Let's go. Let's do this. Mm, nice work. Mm, nice work. I still think out of terrible employees or fellow employees, nice you and Lumbertuck's mom have take the cake on in some instances. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> I know you didn't. I've been rather fortunate. I haven't really had too many bad fellow employees. I don't know why that boss likes nice me so much. I don't know either. I was nice most of the time, but I was also an time asshole. <laughs> True. When I saw something that really wasn't right, nice I was not nice about it. Granted, some of those things were pretty serious, though. Oh yeah, I called him out on some of his Mickey Mouse bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just that phrase. But, oh my god. When I mentioned him to one of my current co-workers, who knows that company, they were like, how are they still in business? I don't understand. <laughs> it's to I've that kind of a couple level. of people. Who have said that? Yeah, which, which is the nice way of saying basically everybody. Pretty much. Casually told the Casa fam yesterday that they hear about a tow truck company on fire in Towson, they know nothing. <laughs> I didn't hear a goddamn thing. Well, technically we did, and technically it's on the internet forever. True. But thankfully, people don't But I'm know assuming are. it's an actual car fire, because I don't think uh, Zion would ever actually really do that. Yeah, that's fair. Unless, like, they killed his dog. You never kill anybody's dog. Exactly. John, John Wick should tell you that much. There we go. Take a good hard look. So you do sometimes shifts positions, but never actually, never actually observed it moving. Okay. I found a sleeping Sableye. I bet you'd just love to know where it is. Sableye, when they sleep, you can't tell. They don't have eyelids. Okay. Um, I don't know if we should take photos here or not. I don't know. They're pushing their luck, says Zion. Let's take photos here. I want to try to level up the camp every once in a while. Because it's such a hard crawl. Yeah. So I figured if I do it, I'm going to walking. He is walking. He was. I don't know why Sudowoodo was hanging out here of all places. I 
already know. Alright, so you guys... What about the Rattata? They do something with the fire, if I remember correctly. I just don't remember how to light it. There we go. You just... Where are you going? Buddy pal, where are you going? That's a Pikachu. You're an asshole, you scared him. I just He's running home to mama. Well, how does our rats? But I guess rats aren't really cowards, though. <laughs> that pose, though. Oh, okay. I thought you were so happy. I don't know if I got a picture of you, so... It's a tree that's eating fruit. <laughs> By the way. You know, there's a lot of critters in the Pokemon Kingdom that kind of do all sorts of weird cannibalism crap, so... whatever. Awesome! I give it a pass. And also, technically, Sudowoodo isn't a tree. He's a rock-type Pokemon. <laughs> He's a mimic. Essentially. Alright, I heard a noise, I don't... Did you do nothing? <laughs> uh, Sorry. You actually knocked him off. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Oh, there he goes. Can I get you to eat a fluff fruit? Oops. <laughs> Why is it that my accuracy here is good? Oh, really? Of all times? Nice! You are very tiny. That's awkward. <laughs> oh, we haven't gotten a picture of Bottleby yet. And what are you? You're a cutie fly out there, too. That will probably be the biggest picture I can get out of him. You missed taking a picture of him bumping oh. into the other guy. Yeah, I did. Oh, another apple. Does that do anything for you? Nope. You don't seem to give a crap. And then again, you're sort of what up, so. So we actually trying to pack it in at eight, so we can get to sleep. <laughs> that are right. Relatively reasonable time, maybe. Oh, frick. I think so. Yes. Considering we might now. be back tomorrow with Duo, depending on when he's deciding to come down. Oh right, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, yeah tomorrow's Friday. You get paid today or tomorrow. Oh uh, right, I forgot about that. Oh me oh my. Good to see you. Duo would get so bored of watching Pokemon Snap. <laughs> I never said anything about what we might be playing. I know, that's true. Yeah. You don't have a one star review? Alright. Yeah, kind of think of it. I don't know what we would do. Things, I suppose. The last time he was here for the Monster Hunter update, and I was telling him, we're playing the Monster Hunter update, regardless right. of whether you're here or not. <laughs> because that was the big one with All Mother. Nice work. Mm. Mm, nice work. I'm not sure I really want to reveal Kingdom with him, and I'm not going to be that much of a dick nice to work. do FNAF with him here. Just seem to walk out of the room. <laughs> Does he nice not work. handle the nap? No, not at all. He hates animatronics. They freak him out something fierce. Actually, I'm not sure if they freak him out or if he just hates them, I can't remember. So before anybody starts putting words in my mouth. I just know he- when I, t I told him that I have the FNAF series, and he's like, I'm never watching you play those games. It's like, okay. But he follows the lore like crazy. Which makes me giggle. But I guess you can like the lore of something and not play the game. True. In fact, I'm sure there's quite a few people like that. 
can't get the game or you know whatever. So that's what I would do. I would watch people who play games that I don't have. Why not games that you're interested in but know you'll never play? Jeez. Yeah, exactly. Ah! 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 Oh. <laughs> Poking me for heavenly. She's not here. I know she's not. Yet. Hey, Yet. I hope she's doing good. Same. I hope all of them are doing good. Obviously. Mm -hmm. It's been a hot minute since we said hi to everyone. Alright, so we did we got these two areas to level two. Now what do you want me to do? <gasps> no that's Sorry. One of my favorite dragon favorite dragon types. Carving's facing us. Let's grab these joltics. They don't seem to care. Alright, whatever. Um We missed Crobat, but that's fine. We'll get Crobat later. More Noibats. Oh, hi. What else is here? I know I'm gonna miss something. Hmm? Why did you light up? It's here. Oh, Braviary. Oh, it's awake! I can't remember if it was awake in the first place. Frick! Oh, that's strange. It's almost like I'm. Drifloon! <laughs> Thanks, Crobat. Way to go, friendo. Enough, I guess. There's a freaking thing up there. Oh well. Uh, Gengar, where are you, buddy? Oh, hi. You were a lot bigger than I thought you were. So, when her try to scan, you say. So that type looks ready to fall at any moment, you say. How many can I hit with it? It didn't fall. Or do I have to get... Frick. Damn it. Alright, oh well. There was a Rampardos at the bottom, maybe I have to have him run into the wall. Oh, oh frick, this looks new. These crystals are probably formed by the heat of the magma pool, maybe. Turn around. <laughs> oh well. These are big freaking crystals. Who <gasps> in? It's our favorite little buddy. Nice. Oops. I didn't mean to hit you. Just turn around, please. <clears throat> oh right. You you face the yeah, you do that. <laughs> well, that's the real face. Mm-hmm. Well, technically the real face is the actual head, but the mouth is... Yeah. <gasps> is that who I think it is? No. Sorry, I got really excited. Uh, the air is wavy down there below you. Is it? Oh, it's, um... It's actual ground. Huh. You're so adorable. Have an apple. What happens when I play you stuff? You guys are very sound sensitive. You don't seem to care. Oh. Plant covered ruins are from the same era as the others? Huh. Alright, well, we found. Is this 
Get in the photos. What, 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 where? Holy crap! Stone giving off a warm glow. Maybe this is why the plants can grow here. Check out this crystal! That's... It's a huge. big crystal. And green. There's another crystal in the other part of the cave, but... Hot damn. Welcome back. You've been looking forward to this, you say? Oh my god, it's adorable! I don't know how I snatched this, but it's freaking cute as hell. Yep. I'm probably never letting it re get replaced with anything else. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Flying Birdo. Oh, a new Rampardos? Oh, a one star. Okay, sure. Wait a minute. <laughs> I found a 4-star stable eye. I think I found the sleeping one. Um... Let's do this one. Why is it a 4-star pavilion? I don't think they're doing anything special. I guess we'll have to read the, the professor's comments. Let's do this! <laughs> I'm never gonna replace that photo. It's too good. I'm never gonna catch that again. Nice work. Carbink. Perfect timing. Great timing. Ah, uh, sure. Get the trio. Crobat. Nice work. Did you just say Crobat looks like a heavy hitter? Really, dude? It's a bat. But all right. Nice work. Get a picture of the Pokemon's faces. Does a balloon have a face? Nice work. Not really sure. Mm, nice work. Seems calm. Yeah, for once. Mm. Got Sableye. Okay. Looks nice like it's work. fast asleep. Hell yes. I managed to catch it. <clears throat> Our best buddy. New discovery. Nice. Nice work. Such fascinating behavior. It's a ball aisle. In general, in general, it's fascinating. Mm. All right. Why is this a four star? Nice I see it's in flight. Okay. Are there other Pokemon in the photos a nice touch? I don't understand. No idea. Whatever, I'm glad I got it. In transit, maybe? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Keep us up learning all kinds of new things. Cowboy P, Blues and Giant Crystals, Flying Photographer. Stand 60 research spots? Good lord. Ah. By the way, Thanks to the progress you made in your research, you got something to report. Progress! I'll tell you once your photos are squared away. Um, I want to save and that one. Alright, what's new and exciting? Frick, sorry. Didn't mean to kick the microphone stand. <laughs> one day we'll have a, um, a good solution for it, quote unquote. Maybe. Maybe. Or we'll just, you know, keep doing the things that we're doing. Continue to be ghetto the whole the whole time. <laughs> that would be totally our brand, though. Well, yeah, um, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I mean, if we got any traction and it actually could pay for some of the equipment, then yeah, we would totally buy non-ghetto equipment. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Mainly a microphone mount. Yeah. Something that we could put between us where it won't, you know, freak out so much. Just imagine plants thriving so deep underground. Now hang on a minute. I need to I need to tickle your brain a minute. How many plants go underground? Plants? Plants. Lots. That's what I figured. Because this chick is absolutely surprised that plants are thriving underground. It I guess it depends, because you get like really, mosses and stuff. Yeah, it really depends. Um, more kind of on like volcanic activity. Because heat energy is still energy, just like light energy. Um, that's why you won't find much life 
uh, at the bottom of the ocean, but if you find a volcanic vent, you'll have you'll find critters. Yeah, you'll find a city essentially. City of animals, yeah. You'll find an entire ecosystem. I forget what the deepest creature. And if the vent dies, seen. that ecosystem dies. Yeah, it makes sense. I didn't think about it like that actually. No, like they've gone wonder... down and filmed the vent and went back a, a week later. With the vent and being the gone. Vent... Yeah, and the vent died, oh, and the entire ecosystem was dead. I wonder if that's how they base Subnautica. Because Subnautica is on top of a, a molten <clears throat> crater. But granted, Subnautica also has lava underwater, so... Yeah. I, I mean, know. real life has kind of... Real life has some crazy But not the same kind of lava underwater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What, the wonder, what wonders what the world hides, he says. Hey, Professor, what was import the important thing you wanted to tell us? Oh. Ah, yes, good news. <laughs> You've located an Illumina Pokemon on Durice Island! Yep. That's right, we picked up that familiar reading coming from the large, empty... Sp Face deeper in the cave. Which means we found our last Illumina Pokemon! You mind? You know what to do, trusty photographer? Hell yeah! I didn't actually expect to get the um, Illumina Pokemon so quickly, but sure. We are technically playing a kid's game after all. Let's see. No pets refined palette? Well, this guy's taste for fine food. See if you can spot the way it shows its gourmet side before every meal. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's go. Now, what is going to be the Illumina Pokemon of the Ice Area? It's going to be something we haven't seen before. Hmm. I'm trying to think of Ice Pokemon. And I I'm drawing a blank because Ice Pokemon are not my forte at all. It'd be cool if it was like an Alolan uh, Ninetales or something. Ooh. Yeah. Or what if it might be like a Rock Ice type? I'm sure those exist. There's only a few combinations that haven't been used yet in the Pokemon universe. Alright, what do we got? It looks like your target, target is... is... It's okay. There! Huh? Oh! A Steelix! Ooh! I wasn't expecting that! Rushing up to it, Rushing could, up be to it could be dangerous! You don't say! Be careful. Where Should are be you, the buddy? first thing we do. I know, right? Oh, oh, oh. Where are you? Frick. Oh, this is gonna be challenging. We do have the, the turbo booster. Try throwing a fluff, fru fluff fruit in the hole. Okay. Oh, he was right behind me. Alright, let's see. We gotta find... Holes. The fill vibration's coming from this particular hole. Okay. Oh my god! Hi, buddy! Well... That was fun and exciting. How about this hole? Steelix? I, I did not want to play hide and seek with Steelix, I'm not gonna lie. This is a strange thing to be doing. <laughs> Maybe it takes a few Illumina Maybe it takes orbs, a few or Illumina orbs so to light it up since it's so big? Oh, okay. Let's try that. Hit it multiple times in the face with a little bit orb. God dang it! Oh, hello. <laughs> nice back foot, buddy. I think it's under there. Quick, run a scan. Maybe it'll come up for some fluffer. Oh God. Ray might have to do this a few times. <laughs> it's presence within the fog. It's not lit up yet, though. <laughs> so none of my pictures are valid. Start throwing them now. Eh. Oh, he started it's throwing lit up. Too late. I think it's lit up. Come on, please give me another chance. Steelix, buddy, friend. Now that you're lit up and happy, I need to take a photo of you. Speed up a little bit. 
There's a hole. Oh, there we go. Oh, there. Okay. Damn it! It's not lit up anymore! <laughs> Nuts. How about this one? Oh, there he is. Well, there's a lot of cool opportunities, that's for sure. Let's see if we can get that flower lit up. There we go. Felix? No. Oh. I definitely missed out on him. Reading's getting, farther Reading's getting farther away. Yes, I realize this. Maybe you'll get it to luminous. Maybe you'll get it to luminous state next time. For Maybe. Maybe. Damn it! I got it into its luminous state once, and then I saw the little tail just disappear and the little contrail of Illumina float behind it. Crap. Alright, well I guess we're trying it again. Oh, I did get it. You have no photos to show the professor. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lumino spot, level one. <laughs> Where it will stay. Mind? Try to photograph Steelix when that glowing pattern appears. I know! Let's try again. Alright, well, for a underground cave system, I guess Steelix makes sense. Good luck. You can do it! Yeah, sure. Alright, I don't think I'm supposed to try to hit it while it's flying through the freaking air, but whatever. Right, which tunnel hole is it? This one? No. That's too small. Why are you using the fluff fruit instead of. I need to hit it. I need to get lured out. You bastard. Back. There it comes. Take your picture! Oh, there we go! I got the tail. Well, I got a picture. <laughs> uh. Slip in the wrong direction. Yeah. It's going slower this time. Think it looks really cool with that kind of like cubic yeah, pattern he does. on it. You come out from the hole? No? Okay. Steelix! Where'd you come from? The side? Yeah. Now you're not lit up no more. So. Off to the other side. Break. There we go. Come on, come on, still be shiny. There we go. Say shiny, but God, could you imagine if they had shiny Pokemon in this game? Like you take so many photographs of a Pokemon, or you run <laughs> you run the level like a thousand times, and you have a chance of seeing a shiny Pokemon or something. Yeah. I could absolutely see them doing that. Uh huh. Speed up a little bit. As beautiful as this area is, so there's no Pokemon in it. Dang it. There we go. Steelix. You around, buddy? Great job. 
Damn, I want to. I need one more picture. Damn it. <laughs> Man, that freaking crystal bloom is really so far behind. Well, there it went. Before but you return, before you return I'll trouble you to make a quick make detour. A detour. Oh, what? Sure. Something caught, Something caught my attention while you were chasing, you were chasing after, after that Steelix. Steelix. Past that, that broken, broken wall? wall. There okay, appears that appears to be a large open, open area. area. The scans it's not a natural, a natural formation. formation. It's human-made? Human -made. Okay. It's just begging to be it's explored. Just begging to be explored. <laughs> sure, let's go run into a random cave with human-made thing where rampaging Steelix is floating around. Oh, what is this place, Professor? This is neat. Hmm. Seems like a smart idea. I can't say for sure. I'm just a bold ten-year-old. I can't say for sure, but I think maybe another ruin connected to the Illumina Pokemon. Whoa. Hello. That's a cool mosaic. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't take your shield down, sweetheart. I'm watching for like a, or I'm waiting for like an unknown to pop out. Oh. Melodic beginning of Volcana. I missed what he said. It feels very old and it's missing and some it's pieces, missing here, and pieces there. here and there. But it must, but it must be depicted in an ancient rental like style one. Snake style? Let's yeah, there's see. five of them. It five looks Pokemon. Like it's roughly... You have Melodic, Volcarona, Steelix, 2000 years old, Wishy Washy, and Naginium. Okay. Is it really, really that old? Yeah. It must have been made around the time oh, the this? meteorite hit. Must have been made around the time the meteor hit. Fantastic, Fantastic. what a discovery. What a discovery. Well, it's depicting the meteor and these Illumina Pokemon forming a giant barrier, right? Does this show what the people saw back then? Maybe. It's 2,000 years old. How the, the fuck Pokemon are we supposed to know? Alright, no. Alright. Pokemon are protecting them from the meteorite. Probably. Patterns on these, Patterns on these Pokemon. Pokemon. Could they be Illumina? Illumina? Yeah, I'm Pokemon? sure they are. Did Illumina Pokemon exist, Did Illumina Pokemon the exist before the meteorite fell, right, fell after all? Was, there was that another, another Illumina Pokemon, Pokemon in the center? center? Oh. Yeah, probably. It's kind of smudged out, though. Professor? Oh, sorry. I've been lost in thought. I've got some good data, data for you now. Let's sort it out once we're back. I keep forgetting that I actually read the voice lines, and I don't have to read them out loud, but I feel obligated to do so. So I guess now the question is, what is the center Pokemon? Legendary, maybe? That would be my guess. Hmm. Got a lot to discuss. First get your photos evaluated. Okay. Two star Steelix. Sure. Now Let's see what we've got. It's an okay po or okay picture. Great Seems like it's on its way somewhere. Yeah, it's making a giant F off tunnel. Supposedly Steelix can move retardedly fast underground, if I remember correctly. Graboid. <laughs> yes, actually. So many things that can be right. based on graboids. No step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in that area are getting more comfortable with you. Yes, I'm befriending a giant Steelix. Sorry, Steelix is kind of freaky, alright? Underground Guardian. Ah. By the way, now that we've got that Illumina Pokemon info, I've got something to report. I'll tell you once your photos are squared away. Okay. Uh, return to camp. I gotta keep yawning. Ooh. Huh. Something's going on. Meteor number two. We right. Have one more area to explore before our survey comes to an end. Ready for the final frontier? Mm. We Wait, a... that other bitch wasn't exploring with you! No, she wasn't. I was the only one exploring. You and the, the other... And Todd. Yeah, Todd. <laughs> Todd. Yeah. What, what was that? Oh, Mural has turned my whole theory on its head. Well, yeah, you weren't around 2,000 years ago. <laughs> Not only is there another Illumina Pokemon, but they've also been around since before the meteorite. Oh? Is it just me, Professor? Is that excitement in your voice? Mm -hmm. It's not just you. This wasn't what I expected, but it's a fascinating discovery. Also. Plus, I've gone over all our data and it shows that energy from all over the lentil is converging into one spot. 
And in that same spot, we picked up a very faint reading from an Illumina Pokemon. <laughs> the central one from the mural? Yep. Seems like it. Uh -huh. Watch them, like, pull out, like, an Arceus, the god of Pokemon. So where is it? As for that. That's the tricky part. This points to a tiny island that doesn't even appear on the map. Aurorus. Mm -hmm. hmm. And there, most likely, is where we'll find the island spoken of in Legends. Aurorus Island. Aurorus is a Pokemon, too, but it's not spelled that same way. Now. Time for one final expedition! Let's find the truth once and for all. Alright, well, we'll do this one. I'm not gonna lie, I did not expect to hit or to get through all that real quick. Oh, I can just sort these by category. I'm a freaking digit. I got the feeling that Steelix and Noibat are pals. Do you think they act differently when they're alone together? Hmm. Okay. New area! See, what did I freaking tell you? Thanks. Oh, it's. Ruins of Remembrance. These ruins slumber on a forgotten island. Their origin's mystery. Okay. Cool. Oh, great. <laughs> Told you there'd be something popping up between those two freaking islands. Let's go. I'm actually not sure what to expect here. I'm assuming it's going to be a legendary Pokemon, but I could be pleasantly surprised. What do we got? Ooh! Hello! Massive ruins. Oh, it's a whole new freaking island! The reading was coming from deeper Check inside. this out, Wolf! Be careful. Crystal that grows in a roar. Oh, Jesus! I don't have the the uh, superpower thingy, but Berber. You will at some point. Oh yeah, no doubt. Info. Great skin. Looks like the entrance to the ruins. The way through is blocked. Crystal Blue Rose. Okay, yeah. Eldegoss. Do you remember Edelgard from, um... Fire Emblem Three Houses? Yes. When Edelgoss came around and Edelgard came around, they were making memes of, you know, hybridizing the two. Also, Houndoom. Best boy. Eat your apple. Alright, well. Eat meat, bitch. True enough. <laughs> No, I You're better off throwing a Raichu down there. <laughs> that would be amazing, actually. Whoa, really? Why are you screaming? Oh, he landed. Do you like apples? <laughs> Fluff fruits. And yes, he does. Adorable. Keep going. I ran over my accident. You I hit waited him. two seconds too long. To get a picture while it was staring at you, which would have been like fucking five or six thousand points. Probably. Ooh, oh. Sigilyph. Yes, fun fact, Noivern is the fastest Dragon-type Pokémon. So he has the fastest Draco Meteor. And it can be kinda cool! I don't know if you're facing me or not. Whoa! What the frick is this? Wolf. That's a tree. What is a tree? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Oh, why are you shooting laser beams? What are you doing? Um. Where where am I going? Oh. Numerous heart-shaped markings over the wall. That's strange. That is strange, even for Pokemon. Yeah. The Golurk. Colossus Pokemon. What did I just run over? Sigilith, buddy. We can't keep running you over. That's a Meganium. Oh, you hit all the five of them, I betcha. Probably. Yes? Hi. Again, two seconds too late. Oh. Stop doing that, whatever you're doing. He's stringing, okay? <laughs> Go lurk. Yep, there's another one. Yep, see? I bet you we have to hit them all. Too. What else is around here? Well, Sigil looks again. really like it around here. And then that's. Oh! Oh! Numerous deep gashes here. Indeed. I ran him over again by accident. 
I wish Mega Houndoom was more awesome. Like, he looks amazing. But... What's these animal costumes? Oh, they're all just hanging out around the flower. Huh. Oh my god. Wolf. That gold looks deactivated, then. What happens if I... Oh, you're in front of the damn thing. Or no, there's just you kind of one. bastard! The one for this area? Is that the same one? I don't know. There's a, well, there's a different colored crystal bloom over there. There's different colored crystal bloom over there to your right also. There's like four what of them. What the hell? Oh, that's a, all of them! <sighs> crystal blooms and the statues are arranged in the same position. Indeed they are. Okay. So Some sort of pedestal behind the sleeping Golurk, indeed. You cannot wake him up via... Fluffers. So you probably have to activate him with the Illumina Phenomenon, I'd have to guess. Well, that's an interesting level. Oh, my Houndoom is there. He's not like a holy Pokemon by any means. But whatever. Hello. <laughs> it looks like he made a lot of new discoveries. Sure. Edelgoss. Four star now too, yes. Oh my god, it's adorable! Wolf. Yep. I have a three star version, but I'm submitting this because it's too freaking cute. Can you tell I like bats and stuff? You're weird. I know I'm weird. Golur. And sure, we'll submit the rooms too. <laughs> My new discovery. I like this level. Great timing. It's trying to intimidate me. Well, it tried. A new discovery. It'll go. Nice work. A new discovery. Nice work. <laughs> Her getting close up to Pokemon's faces. Yeah, about that. You better rate this one amazingly because it's freaking cute. I know, right? <laughs> it's having a nice meal. That's a diamond one, I'll take it. Ah, uh, yeah, this seems to lift, sure. New discovery. Perfect timing. Nice. I really want to get the freaking thing for it, the um Illumina Orb. Looks curious. Behind. A new discovery. Perfect Looks like it's been bought by something. A lot of diamond photos in this one. Granted, that was kind of right up against everyone, so... Let's see. Are you giving me the Illumina Orb right off the bat? You mind? No. You need a photograph and glowing crystal bloom in the ruins. What we learned from this photo will help me make an Illumina Orb for Aurora's Island. Oh god. I didn't see a glowing one, though. Huh. That'll be interesting, I suppose. Save photos. Save the Noivern. Well, considering all that chat about a, a final quest, so to speak. Do I dare to try to find the glowing crystal bloom? And then do whatever the last level is? It's already eight. I know, that's why I'm asking. No. No? Okay. That way you might actually be able to stream again tomorrow, and or <laughs> the next day. True. And or all weekend for all I know. Maybe. If we're lucky and people go someplace and Duo comes down, all three of us can sit here and dick off on a stream for like six hours. 
True. I don't know if we have six hours left in Pokemon, but we'll see, I guess. I don't think so, either. I suppose I could always try for the, um, some of the special photos and stuff. But, you know. Let's see, who is on... Oh! Frick! We haven't caught Daywalker in a while. Let's go raid Daywalker. Unsurprisingly, he's playing uh, Mass Effect, but eh, whatever. <laughs> Daywalker is a good lad. At least it seems to be. I usually don't get the opportunity to hang out with him too, too much, just because our schedules are a little weird. But, you know. Uh, I'm just pulling it up on my side so we don't lose him in the raid. It seems like we're getting close to the end of Pokemons, I suppose. I say close to the end, but I don't freaking know, but considering all the characters are like, ah, oh, it's the big super duper awesome reveal, and all that kind of fun stuff. Hopefully we'll be on tomorrow, and then maybe we'll finish this up. More likely than not. Maybe. Maybe, we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, let's just go say hi to Daywalker, and thank you for the people who were lurking, chatting, and all that fun stuff. <laughs> Hope to talk to y'all soon. Bye. <laughs>